up, it's game time, everybody stand up From my town we roars, we ready for sure From the field to the court, yeah we ready for war This is 845, varsity man up It's game time, everybody stand up From my town we roars, we ready for sure From the field to the court, yeah we ready for war I said it's game time Hey folks, Kevin Witt here with the first Varsity 845 basketball show. We've got some new digs, we're sporting a little different look, and we definitely got smarter. How, you ask? Well, we've added staff Amira Wasev into the mix, and she'll check in on local girls' basketball. Now, back in the day, Mira never found a jumper she didn't mind taking, but this week she spoke with a player who does her best work close to the basket, and about one of the biggest decisions in that girl's life. Mira also will give us our weekly top 10 in girls basketball, I'll handle the boys rankings, and we're introducing a new feature called the Plays of the Week. But first, let's take a quick look at what's happening. Non-league games can be a tough draw unless you get that special matchup. And we had one Saturday at Mount St. Mary College where the Newburgh Free Academy boys took on defending class AA state champion Bishop McGinn of the Albany area. Newburgh pulled away in the second half and won 71-56. Michael McLeod and Damon Kozar each scored 17 points for Newburgh, which has emerged as the area's top team. On the girls' side, we knew Cornwall, Kingston, and Coleman Catholic were going to be good. But Monroe Woodbury is quietly 6-1 through Monday, with its only loss coming to Kingston. Undefeated Warwick has to be the biggest surprise, and that's including a victory over division rival Minnesink Valley. Looking for a few names to keep your eye on? Livingston Manor's Marissa Deicher is one of the top scorers in the section, and Lindy Felice just helped Chapel Field win the Lady Hambletonian Classic in Chester. Now on to this week's feature. Menacing Valley Stephanie Dolson is just a junior, but as she tells Mira Wasef, she's already thought about her college future. Thanks, Kevin. We are here at Menacing Valley to catch up with Stephanie Dolson. Dolson recently made a verbal commitment to play at UConn, and we just wanted to get her thoughts on playing for the National Powerhouse before tonight's matchup with Valley Central. Uh, first, what I wanted to ask you was why you chose UConn over several other Division I programs that were recruiting you. Um, well, first of all, I chose it because their uh, their location or their campus. Um, it's beautiful. It's really big. Uh, it, lo- it reminds me of home. Um, the people there are great. The coaches, the staff, the uh, um, the team. Um, and then finally, it's a winning program, and I figure it's it's the best place um, or the best program that's gonna make me the player that I know I can be. What is it like knowing that you'll be sort of competing in the NCAA tournament and possibly the Final Four, you know, every season? Um, I think it's great. It's cool. Because um, I love to win. So going to that, winning a NCAA championship would just be like, that's a huge goal of mine, going there, obviously, in the four years. At least one. Maybe it'd be awesome if we had like four, you know, championship rings and stuff. What do you feel you bring to a program like UConn? Depending on whether I'm the five or the four, I feel like I'm a five that can move, do post moves still, be strong, um, but go to the top of the key, make shots, dribble, if they allow me to, <laughs> and uh, take those if I, I mean, I'm only a junior, so I have a few years to get my three-pointer on. That's it from Slate Hill. Now back to Kevin with the top plays of the week and our top ten lists. Thanks, Mira. Now moving on to this week's top ten. We'll go ladies first. Number ten, Chapel Field. Lindy Felix is doing her best to keep Chapel Field in it with Manor. Number nine, James I. O'Neill is the favorite to win Division Four. Number eight, Livingston Manor. Marissa Deesher is one of the top scorers in the section. Number seven, Coleman Catholic. Nice inside-outside combination with Taylor Leonard and Melody O'Connor. Number six, Walk Hill. The top team in the Mahal behind Sarah Bender. At number five, Minnesink Valley. Stephanie Dolson is carrying the offensive load. Number four, Warwick is on a roll and already has a big win over Minnesink. Number three, Cornwall. Easily the best team in Class A. At number two, Monroe Woodbury, which is the best team no one talks about. And at number one, which is Kingston, which is a no-brainer. And now for the boys. Number 10, Sullivan West. Joins the rankings after winning five of its first six games. Number nine, Red Hook. 
plays at New Paltz Friday in a battle of defending Section 9 champs. Number 8, Washingtonville, coming off a 12-point victory Saturday over Suffern. Number 7, Pine Bush. Thursday home against Kingston is the program's biggest game in a long time. Number 6, Cornwall. You have to like the scoring coming from everywhere. Number 5, New Paltz. Is this the top Mid-Hudson Athletic League team? Number 4, Kingston. Let's see how the Tigers rebound from their Middletown loss. Number 3, Minnesink Valley. Will be favored on the road against Port Jervis. Number 2, Monroe Woodbury gets its shot at the top spot Thursday at Newburgh. And number one, Newburgh can be the area's unquestioned top team after Thursday. Next comes a feature we know will generate plenty of weekly buzz, the plays of the week. We'll start in Chester where Nico Wong is thinking touchdown pass to Justin Hernandez. Check out Valley Central's teamwork, the strip, the outlet pass to Tori DeGroot, she dribbles, finds Leanna Fierick, who kicks it out to April Armstrong, who nails the jumper. <laughs> Ellenville's Victoria Mann with the steal, she dribbles, throws a cross-court pass to Zoraida Castillo, who lays it in for two. Here comes some payback. Chapel Field's Diana Wejack, quickly to Angel Kelly. She finds Grace Hodges, who makes the basket. Vote for your favorite on the front page of Varsity845.com. Now, we know we can't be everywhere, so we invite you to send us your video or plays you would like to nominate. If you have a video clip, email us at sports at th-record.com, and we'll talk you through the process. Well, that's it for this week. Check back every Wednesday night for the Varsity 845 basketball show. I'm sure you all have Varsity845.com bookmarked, but in case it might have slipped your mind, do it now and catch all the scores, news, and highlights in every sport all season long. From Mira Wasev, I'm Kevin Witt. That is game time.